This is Insider Medicine in 60 from Boston. According to research published in Science, the reason why some children with autism respond to behavioral modification and others don't may be related to genetic makeup. From an analysis of nearly 90 families with autism, Harvard researchers showed that many affected genes were the type that turned other genes on. Some of these genes responded to experiences like playing and social interaction. From Maryland, an expert FDA panel is recommending that the agency announce a warning about the risk for suicide with epilepsy medication, but has recommended against the more stern black box warning. The decision is based on a review of over 200 studies which links the use of commonly used epilepsy medications to both suicidal ideation and attempts. And finally, from Atlanta, according to a new study from the CDC, the amount of nicotine in the blood of non-smokers is falling. While 46% of non-smokers had traces of nicotine in their blood in a recent sample, this was down from 8 84% from a sample taken during the 1980s and 90s. The drop is related to a number of public health policies banning smoking in both work and recreational areas. For Insider Medicine in 60, I'm Dr. Susan Sharma.